Hey everybody, I'm Jer. Welcome back to Stock Voyager. I want to do an update on uh, Pick, Kid Pick. Um, so I did more research last night. I did a video yesterday uh, and I was trying to figure out the free float for the stock because I, I it's very vague on what the free float is because Webull shows 108,000 um, and then the uh, prospectus shows like 2 million being available right off the bat. Um, and so I did more research and I want to take a look real quick. Um, and I also want to point out some other things you should be aware of, uh, with this stock that seems kind of fishy. I mean, I, but I'm also going to point out the good things again, and, and you can make a decision on if you want to get in or not. Um, I personally am going to hold off until it finds some support and then I might possibly get in. This is a great stock to, uh, to probably trade if you know what you're doing. I don't think it's a good stock to swing and I don't think it's a good stock to invest in, but that's just my opinion. I can't tell you what to do. I'm not your financial advisor. I can just tell you what I would do and what I'm doing. Um, so let's take a look at this really quick. Um, let's go. We're going to go to the prospectus. Okay. So on the prospectus, first off, we had seen yesterday, and I showed you on the video yesterday, which is on the YouTube. This will go up on Stock Voyager. This video will go up on StockVoyager.com and will be on StockVoyager.com for 30 minutes. And then I will change it from a private link for people on StockVoyager.com to a public link on uh, YouTube. And then you can share and watch it as much as you want. Okay, so the uh, number of shares available is 2,117,647 on the date of prospectus. So that is the day of this public offering of the initial public offering, the IPO. Okay. So that is what this shows. And I was like, why is this not compared? Like, why is Webull not updated? And I have no idea why Webull shows 108,000 shares. Um, but whenever we go here on Benzinga, it actually shows that the free float, uh, total free float is 2.8 million um, with an outstanding share amount of 7.6 million, which is where this get, where they get this market cap of 46.1. Um, I couldn't find any information for free float on uh, Google. I'm guessing it's because it's a, such a small stock and, or small cap and uh, they just did their IPO a couple of months ago. I don't know exactly why, but there's not enough information really on Google. So Benzinga is the next trustworthy source that I would use, and it's showing free float of 2.8 million, and I trust that. Um, Webull, I don't know why it shows 108,000. Uh, I can't figure it out because I don't even get 108,000 from anything. So uh, 2.8 million float. Um, prospectus shows uh, available was... Oops, wrong one uh two million one hundred and seventeen thousand on date so at least two million one hundred and seventeen thousand six hundred and forty seven is the free float now then um the other thing i want to point out is that ef hutton did a price target recently in the end of december for ten dollars per share the only issue with that is is that ef hutton started off owning two million one hundred twelve thousand shares okay so um, let's go to EF Hutton uh, price target uh, pick. Yeah. EF Hutton initiates coverage on Kid Pick with buy rating announces price target at ten dollars. So. They announced this price target at $10, but they were the underwriters of the stock of the IPO. Um, and they own 2 million shares. And so, yeah, of course they want it to go up to $10 because they have 2 million shares of it. So I don't know. I, I just wish that there was some kind of... I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't say anything. But I'll just say that of course, they wanted to go to $10 if they own 2 million shares of it. Now then, so that might be why there's price targets elsewhere of $10 um, because EF Hutton owns so much of it, of the free float, that maybe they wanted to go up in price so that they can start getting rid of these shares. 
I don't know what their plan is, what they're thinking, but that's just something to be aware of as you go into the stock. Now then, I got did a, I posted on, let me pull this up real quick here. Um, let's look. So I did, I posted on uh, uh, stockvoyager.com the, uh, and I also posted on Weeble and on StockTwits, the uh, uh, DD report. Um, so they have a CEO with experience, which is great. 15 years of experience with uh, being the CEO of the Children's Place. Their numbers, they did 21 million uh, in revenue over the last four quarters. They lost 5 million over the last four quarters. They are currently trading at 2.26 two time, 2 .2, 2 .2 times rev. Uh, Ionic Ventures own 7.29% per an SEC filing on November 16th. Um, and then these lockup end dates, they have been in business since 2016. And they are, now I need to update this because it says low flow to one. Don't get me wrong, 2 million is still really low float, but it's not nearly as low as 108 or 108,000. So I need to update the DD and I'll post that to Stock Voyager um, as well um, so that that is out. Um, yeah, so I wanted to share that information. I, I hope it helps somebody. It is still really low float, obviously, uh, with being 2 million, but it's not as low float as 108,000. So I want to give that update and make sure people know that it is not as low, that low of a float uh, going off of what Benzinga says, which I, I trust more than uh, what Webull says. I'm not for sure why Webull is showing 108,000. Um, but, and if anything else changes or if I find other information, I will let you know in a video. Um, I hope that you have a profitable green day. Um, I'll be doing more videos today on other stocks and uh, probably some more DD reports, hopefully. Uh, and yeah, hope you have a great one. I'll see you later. Bye.